good morning, everybody. Make it sound like there's a lot of people here. Huh? It's actually just us. For those of you that are uh, viewing through Facebook Live, good morning, everybody. Uh, this morning, we are going to be signing a legislation. Uh, really historic, you know, this is only the second time in history that a bill like this is signed. Uh, it's dealing with the permanent trust fund, uh, the five-year expenditure, uh, the five-year uh, expenditure plan for fiscal year 2022 through 2026. But before we uh, begin, I'd like to turn the time over to uh, Delegate uh, Elmer P. Begay to uh, do the prayer for us. Thank you for being here. My two nomination president, but the fundies that, uh, that we have, um, that we got it from just natural resources that are ours and then the, the home and land that we have, whatever's in it and, um, and then on the soil, part of it, that's where our money is coming from. Okay, to grow this much, about and to um, use it wisely again, call it, uh, the thought, a lot of thought was put in place, plan was put in place. So to this day, today, yeah, that's what the thought uh, that can be signed by uh, our leadership. Vice President 
of the Navajo Nation, Myron Leiser. We also have uh, Delegate Oto So from Kudnestizik. Uh, uh, we also have uh, Vice Chair of the Budget and Finance Committee, Raymond Smith. And again, Delegate uh, Elmer P. Begay, uh, Council Delegate, and of course, my wife, uh, First Lady of the Navajo Nation, Cophelia Nares, here today. Um, <clears throat> just wanted to start out with the background of the legislation and what the intent is. I know that a lot of the viewers are wondering, what's this all about? Five-year plan? Are they taking the money out of the permanent trust fund without doing a referendum? No. We just want to give you an overview so that you are well-informed and that this government is transparent. So, Eli, if you could put the slide up. <clears throat> uh, the slides here give you uh, an overview of this legislation. Of course, if you want a copy of the legislation, go to the Office of Legislative Services, and you'll have a copy of the full version of the bill. So these are just clips uh, for presentation purposes. So, uh, Eli, are we ready? You can put up the first slide. Uh, many people throughout the uh, Navajo Nation on Facebook Live right now. So we want to say thank you to each and every one of you uh, for watching. I see Golita Black from Chantilly, Arizona. That's on on the call. Uh, Paul Chief is also watching. Uh, Vanessa Lee uh, watching. And, uh, and many others, uh, Karen Pablo, um, and uh, we're already getting questions about it. So anyway, we'll go ahead and uh, begin the presentation. Uh, slide one, uh, Vicente, if you could uh, remind Eli to put this uh, slide up on the Facebook Live. Uh, the Navajo Nation Permanent Fund, right, as we know, the Permanent Fund, uh, is invested and gains interest and it grows. And that is put away for the Navajo people. And it was established in 1985 under then uh, President Chairman, right? Chairman Peterson Zaw and the council. And in 1985, the, the dollars were to be invested for 20 years, 20 years. So if you do the math, 1985, 95, and 2005. So after 20 year period as a source of future revenue to replace the declining revenues from the nation's oil and gas and other depleted natural resources. And the council resolution is CJY 5385. The, the permanent fund was established to create a reserve of funds for future generations due to the decline in the Navajo Nation's general reserve fund. So, the peso stepni nev ado peso bev and yet no tanya hante na ting nahe 1985 and down President Peter, Chairman Peterson Zada, Sitaha, down to Beshpans, and then the net down. Uh, 
Aro, wenn da ist nicht heute nachgedacht wird. Ako ich da nachricht, der Lars näher, der bei Aya, der Nana ist da nachgedacht, und Anna zu sehen, ja, bekal nachgedacht wird nicht noch, wie ich mal so ein zu ein kommt nach zu sehen, sich so ist dann hier die Aya. And then the permanent fund, as I said in Navajo, will be invested for a period of 20 years from the date of the first Navajo Nation contribution to the fund. Uh, thereafter, and that's where the five-year plan comes in, 95% of the fund income may be expended in accordance with a plan for its use covering at least a five-year period adopted by the re by resolution of the Navajo Nation Council. The remaining 5% of the fund income shall be reinvestment, reinvested in the permanent fund. So in 2005, the 95% of the income was available as long as the council passed a five-year plan. So from 2005, to about 2016, there was no five-year plan agreed upon. But the money kept growing, right? Kept growing. But five years ago, a little bit over five years ago, the council and then President Russell Begay and I, I as vice president then, agreed upon the terms for a five-year plan. And the council uh, also put in some of their items into the legislation and it was passed. And that was the first time ever a five-year plan was established. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, uh, over 60, $70 million a year in that first plan were allocated for various projects, right? Water line projects, economic development projects, uh, shopping center right off of I-40 and, and many other projects throughout the Navajo Nation. So that five years is uh, complete. And now we're doing the second five-year plan. And so the second five-year plan is before us right now for consideration. So the permanent fund income has been available for you since 2005 and through Council Resolution CAP 1916, the Navajo Nation approved a plan for the use of the permanent fund income for major water line projects and economic development across the Navajo Nation. CAP 1916, amended by CD 85-18 CD and CD 88-18. Those are resolutions that were approved to get us to this point. Now, we want to go back to the intent, right? The intent of the bill. The intent of the bill, Peterson Zah and the leaders then envisioned that this money would be utilized to supplement, uh, reduce in revenue from natural resource extraction, coal, uh, and the like. That was their vision. And you know what? We're there today with uh, the closure of NGS and Peabody. The Navajo Nation relies on project revenue from a variety of sources to provide services through the Navajo Nation government and associated entities. Declining revenues from the closure of the nearby Navajo Generating Station power plant and coal mine and other revenue sources subject to the Navajo Nation to a significant revenue shortfall for the future and unless mitigated, unless mitigated, may lead to a reduction in services to the Navajo Nation. Five-year plan, this five-year plan allows the Navajo Nation to address its declining revenue and, contrib and contribute to the projected revenue of the Navajo Nation to use in the future fiscal years thereby creating financial stability of the Navajo Nation government operation. What does that mean? That means that for the next five years, we're gonna be utilizing $40 million for the next five years to help with the budget. 
30 to $50 million of revenue coming into the Navajo Nation that would help us with the budget went away with the closure of NGS and the Peabody Mines, and of course, Kienta and Black Mesa. And since it went away, the revenue, the general fund revenue has uh, decreased by about 30 to $50 million. And because of that, you know, we have to look at possibly how, how do we balance our budget? And we did that for the past two years. It's been two years now, the monies haven't come in. But I wanna say thank you to this council, the 24th Navajo Nation Council, the Speaker Damon, Chairman Hanio, for working together, putting uh, some reserve dollars into the budget so that we have the same budget as uh, previous years so that we don't do employee layoffs or we don't lessen the ser direct services that go to the Navajo people. And today, ladies and gentlemen, with the signage of this bill, we are guaranteed $40 million, uh, which is the middle of 30 to $50 million to go into the every year's budget so that people don't get laid off, so people don't get less services. And it gives us an opportunity as well, ladies and gentlemen, I wanna say thank you to Vice President Leiser for heading the Economic Recovery Work Group here for the executive branch. We have five years now to do our very best to bring in new revenue, bring in new monies. And these gentlemen here know that there's great possibilities in bringing in new revenue, either renewable energy projects, economic development. So when the five years comes up after this, in, uh, what is it, 20, what did I say, 20? So that, it will end, this five-year plan will end in 2026. When 2026 comes up, are we hoping we can get new revenue, about 40 million coming in, so the third five-year plan can go to projects. Once again, like the first time we approved this uh, five-year plan with Speaker Bates at the time and the 23rd Navajo Nation Council. The last part I wanna bring up uh, I don't know if Eli is putting these slides up. I don't see it on the, the fast Facebook Live, but uh, once this legislation gets uh, signed into law, the Navajo Nation controller shall include $40 million in available permanent fund income funds for use in the annual comprehensive budget for the fiscal year of 2022 to 2026. And that's... Uh, how it would be for the next five years. That's year 2022, 23, 24, 25, and fiscal year 26. Now, sometimes it goes above 40 million, right? Maybe 60 million sometimes. So the access, there was an amendment made to the legislation where the access of that would be put aside for projects, um, which you know we support but there needs to be some legislative fix on that, I believe. And uh, we'll, we'll come back to that uh, in the future. But 40 million for sure, gonna help out with our budget so that we can improve the quality of services to our Navajo citizens and also keep it at that level. I know some would say, well, it's not that great now, but we are looking internally in the executive branch to streamline uh, direct services. And it's, it's a challenge, and these leaders know it, it's tough sometimes with the organizational structure that we have, but we will continue to make changes on behalf of the Navajo citizen. So I just wanted to give you an overview of what we're doing and make, you know, just let, letting you all know that uh, all these legislation, all these laws that are in place has been followed. And uh, if it's the main permanent trust fund, we're not taking any of that money out. This is just the future investments for the next five years, 95% of that. The 5% goes back into the permanent trust fund and it continues to grow and it gets reinvested. So just to be clear. So thank you so much. I'm gonna turn the time over to our vice president here to uh, add more to our, our discussions today. Thank you, vice president.
Thank you, Mr. President. And Yat Ebene, Vice President Liza here, Comanche Nishle, Tohanu Bas's team, the Comanche Desha Che, Clasha Desha It's good to be with you here this morning on this historic day, as our president has said. And um, I'd like to welcome again the Shana, uh, Elmer Begay, Mr. Chair Raymond Smith, and Shana Atoso. Thank you for being with us this morning. This is uh, truly a, a great day as we set a plan forward and uh, with their 24th Navajo Nation Council's help, I believe we will get there. The president is right, uh, you know, what does our economic recovery look like here? And in this case, we're tying it into a five-year plan that goes forward uh, post-pandemic. And uh, it's very important to have a plan. Uh, any budgetary measures, any uh, fiscal planning needs to be sound, well thought out and due diligence properly performed. And uh, this will be no different. Uh, we do have 24 bright minds across the street there. And uh, our president and myself and uh, Navajo Economic Development and all of our divisions contributing greatly to this here. And what does it look like as we uh, come out of this pandemic? Well, the uh, low-hanging fruit, uh, proverbial low-hanging fruit has it that uh, tourism will be one of the uh, measures that we could really enhance. We do have a new motel being built in Chantal and uh, plan others and the leadership is looking at other sites uh, that where the uh, and tourists will be enticed back once the uh, um, we're given the all clear. And uh, this is already there. Tourists are already there. They're just not spending a lot of time. I think there was a study done, uh, average seven hours on the Navajo Nation. We need to turn, with your help, Shinataz, uh, we need to turn seven hours into two days, three days. And there's certainly a lot of beautiful, picturesque uh, points of interest all across Navajo. And with President's idea of a... Uh, Grand Circle to guide and to direct the traffic flow uh, to these spots, come, whether they come from Albuquerque, Phoenix, or Las Vegas, even Utah. There's talk of a new highway coming in through the uh, Navajo Mountain region to Ojeto. So, and uh, last night I was just talking to somebody who's waiting for the nation to open so they can continue bring in uh, tourism via airplane into the uh, Golden's area. So. I think many are looking at Navajo right now, and uh, we are certainly priming and priming the pump to uh, release that, all of the economic uh, impact that's going to come soon thereafter. So we appreciate you all. Uh, you all have a, a contributing factor as well, greatly. Uh, your daily buying habits, your buying decisions, whether you buy Navajo or, or buy, and buy local, or continue to feed uh, you know, other non-Navajo businesses abroad. Uh, this is one strong place where we can bring great enhancement for 6% of uh, your spending dollar stays on the Navajo Nation for projects that could continue to give entrepreneurs and business owners uh, new ones, upcomers, and uh, new starts, and also the established ones here. As you know, if your boat's on water, when high tide comes in, your boat will rise too. And we're all in this together, so I appreciate our president's leadership. And uh, just keep uh, in tune to uh, leadership here as we are having a number of meetings. I've uh, been a part of meetings with many of our council delegates. The ideas that are out there and the um, promising uh, new ventures that are uh, post-pandemic and even before the pandemic. I think the pandemic has given us new eyes, uh, new perspective in which to look at those. So if a project was once deemed uh, you know, not, not worth pursuing, I think through the eyes and as we've come through the pandemic, there's new urgencies now, maybe a new thought. And certainly the lending market is there, public-private ventures that will help us bring these projects to fruition, along with the external uh, funding that's out there, grants and whatnot, and then whatever we can provision on these projects here with this new plan, this five-year plan that uh, will need your prayers. So we appreciate your support and uh, your continued uh, advocacy at the grassroots level. So. Again, I don't want to uh, reiterate what the president has already shared. He's done a fine job. We appreciate his leadership on this. So thank you, Mr. President and uh, First Lady from Philia. We appreciate your leadership as well. Uh, God bless you. Thank you. Yeah, Lon. Okay. And now I'd like to give it to uh, Mr. Chairman Raymond Smith. Good morning, Yate Ben. Thank you uh, for inviting us here this morning on a historical moment with the uh, Permit Trust Fund. Uh, Shay uh, Raymond Smith, Jr., District Junior, Vice Chair of the uh, Budget and Finance. 
It's a honor to be here. The Nens Nenge Eha, the Bessesindo, Kikichini, Bessis Ching, when the Lahi does it shado, not Kaidas and Nana. And I want to say thank you, President Nez, Sutsila, and Vice President Miser, for being here this morning to sign this, and uh, First Lady for being here, and also Vice Chair Otto So from Law and Order, and also with us uh, this morning is uh, Shita Elmer Begay with the Budget and Finance. And what the President has said, we are now in the second, uh, fifth year of the uh, Permanent Trust Fund, and the intent of the Permanent Trust Fund is to utilize the interest, not the Permanent Trust Fund, like we tried to tap into during that uh, road stimulus plan where the people voted it down based off of using the principle. Edo what Eda, the Eha, Oni, Chigi, it's Ado, Beso, Bendo, Nishto, Anaha, Shlatnahe, the Koe, what are my present Yazito, and Nacha Eha, Ko, Vijito, or Lito, Sadnawit, I, Abe, his Ani, Elne, Edishta, Bakotanos, and the Kehe, the Ko. He that no, you're not any a ha, but a peso, but no celta no, not dinahe, cadenta, pitching old jeez dida, kitchen, a yahutzado, a pesh be coin, it on his says, it's ado peso, dying in the cadea ha peso, yaliki, a benachi di, you're not any, hala a ha, pitching a cow, a yada hododo. Even that you call permanent trust fund that the Kobako don't know since you know, I don't know, Finnegy, Kasi, the A had only Chigit, the IC base of principle that they need a call a Shinshlatnahe, Kadish J. Yaha, the present Vijikai Lai, be his Ani Bik, Bik Eho, a Yal Bada Huyado, Yal Eha, Bain Dotnish. About Ado, if you had a go, it would have had this to do it with the Jewish art either. I don't hear none, not Adam of Lenigi, the Dunsa, not Dean, Dean Peshmas, and it would a stido, not so say a hand, a sudden wait. I think you could call his daughter's souls at all present. A ha, a busy eat or little call. It would have here now, and he didn't call Lord or our creature, that I was young, so the snack. Kita no se nishi kasi kashi e yaha shitaba di shati de e ashi ashi soshi e yaha to to e he na shita to to zin be ayin na do ko na kita to to zin ayi si be ya be ya e to na si kato e he na shi na da e he do aro to tutu do president aro tutu do to vice president laiza aro stage do. First Lady, Caro, Don, Chewego, or Stadnanoka. When you need Loco, he had the com, Daddy com, President Lenny, Sadobna had a yidla, and later, Ehot Edo Lithini. Then we all came together as leadership with Edo Lith for all the benefit of our people and the benefit of all the people that today we went through a lot the call with Abansakis. But the idea is that the Pantaki is not out, 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 not Yet eh, uh, are they easy of Tsangi? I do, are they, uh, uh, Shina, President, uh, Jonathan Nays, do, are they, uh, uh, Vice President, Mr. Lizer, I do, are they, uh, Tsui, um, First Lady of the Navajo Nation, at eh, Ben, I do, are they, Shinada, uh, Raymond Smith. Vice Chair of the Budget and Finance Committee and uh, Jia 
member of the uh, Budget and Finance Committee. She ya a kudi kani ati shig, aro so e da shijne. Na kai na to he tlini inch ne, look at na e ya da shichi. Aro a na ne e je tapa ha e ba shichin, do a tsena jini e da shina ne, a e ne inch ne. Tonya ne stizete e ya bejh ba sa an inch ne, ko a di shig, a hol jish. A ko ti de ko a بهز آنی لید دشکش بیش مهس آن ای آدی 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 نه تابدید بدای نیشو به هم آهی آدی هشین صبح آدی کدوم رهنند آ پریزنت نیز دو آدی آدی لجیسلیتی برانچ ای آجی هد ایگو کو گین داش نیشو آدی هد آ بهز آنی گی ای یا هد آ به به ای یا بانیات که دو به از آنی که ای کم هد دیادو بیش مهس آن ای داده دکویدشی نخیش دی بیش مهس آن بیت آن دست نیوی هد آ به خواهد جش و آدی هد آ ای یا نخیش دی بیش مهس آن جه که آدی بلات 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 خش هد آویش جیدو ای یا خون هنند آ ای یا بیش کایله أكوهود آيسي دايسي يغو أنهوت إيه بيغو غو نال إينغو بيغو إيه دنانو خنيغي آدي كيهوت إنيغي دي دنابا واشنطن إيه وحيغي إيه دي بيتسادو يال دادن تهيغي دي ده دي برنامي ترس فان انترس ني إيخشي هيغي جو دبا بيب دبا بيجا نال أو داش نو سكالو دبا نيدن دا إيخشي هو ایا جه ده هد نه ده؟ ای یا آج ای یا ایا جی که نه نی؟ ای به نه آن خود اه؟ اکنون دلیل ای یا هدی جنوسی آ آ آ آ آ آ آ آ جنوسی اکنون به یا جی ای یا ای یا کن ای بای بان یکی دی انترس اگه هر دیش جیگ کن دنبه واشنگتن یکی ای یا داشتی نه نه دنیا و واش دنیا تخانی هی تخان تا اینش تریبل پروگرامس. We have tribal direct services being provided to the Navajo people. آخویچ بیش مهس آن دوچ دهش نه دی کد نیانه تو هدی تو هدی داده ای کار دی کد نیانه تو تا اینشی تو تا اینش هات نه ای پس ای ای پنی یا ای یا آج ای با ای جا با دادن نیل تا نیشی که ای ای یسی پنی یا خال ای ای یا آد the direct services need to continue to move forth at this time. This council had a very very had a very hard decision to close the mine. And could close NGS. Thirty-two million dollars just went away. At then, kahit ego ade yad the dot, ahi kade the dot, ah. Ako ho kaje ashon e di betha ike e ya peso e ya aj na no ta ashla na kaje e ya. Ako na kuto do le ashla na kaje twenty twenty-six. Na nishin sa ike na na kuto na bes. نیه نند آنات آنی دان لینی اتاه ناتیست ل. حالیت ایگو ل ایت پیسو ای ایا آدول نی. اگه ایا دان نا خب که اهدی دیگه دوکن اندا دیل چیت آدول ده. یه وقت دو 2027 دوی وقت. اکنون ده توریسم is something that we could really really enhance and make some revenue off of. And other opportunities such as economic development. یگو خد یگو نان نشیگی بس آرو پیسو ادا دور نیکی یاد آره یه هشین تهی ای دیت ادا یگو دنیل اکنون لید نهات یگی آشن آپنی یه پیسو تحلل آو هد آب هستید و لیتو با کیم سان دش نتیدش دیگون هدیش جی هو آیگی دون دکون نیکنند آب جی کای لیگی کو ایده هد آب هستید و که او داره هخیادو آتو داده هستیم دیون دخیگو آهن صحیح 
thank you, uh, Vice President. Thank you, Vice Chair Smith. Uh, thank you, uh, Delegate Begay. Thank you, Vice Chair Silk, for those words and really a testament. Shadishi Olaja Shishna Anish. Lede than Hinas Anshi, though Shishnas Nesta than Hido Nenigi. Shadiche Kong Sad, Donald Swas, Nishibakai, Nagi, a Shishna Nesto, a car nature holder. Jahot Elia have on his arm. Mado is ye a Shinia Halyas at the Dota. Danisa, Mado is ye and Sinigi. Shall said at the Hatnisa. So, I got on to Washington in the second of the year, could do a scar nature, Naha, Ade, and he massively came on the scene. You know, the uh, letter that we're going to be resubmitting to uh, the speaker, thank you again, speaker, <clears throat> for your hard work and you being on the budget and finance committee before you became speaker uh, has been instrumental in the first five year plan second five-year plan as well. On behalf of the uh, Navajo Nation employees who are the heart and soul of our government, we thank the Navajo Nation Council for approving CAP-30-21. We thank Chairman uh, Jamie Hino and Council Delegate Edison Wanika for their leadership in moving this legislation forward. As, a, as we have noted, uh, Previously, this five-year plan will ensure the Navajo Nation ha will have an opportunity to deliver direct services, to provide for the health and safety of our citizens, and to continue vital government operations. With CAP-30-21, we have taken a step in addressing our declining revenue as projected for fiscal year 2022 and beyond. This measure, along with reserving a portion of the UUFB, is prudent planning in keeping with the tradition of our parents and grandparents. Working together, we can tackle the needs of our people. And we look forward to partnering with the legislative and judicial branches to solve the revenue challenges we face. As Navajo leaders, we still must remain vigilant and conservative in our financial planning until such time we are in a better economic situation. We are planning several endeavors to bring much needed revenue to the nation, which in turn will support the services the nation provides to our citizens. We look forward to working with the Navajo Nation Council on the future proposals. We sign CAP 30-21 into law now. CAP 30-21 is an action related to budget and finance and Nabiki Etiquette Committees and a nomination council approving a nomination permanent fund income five-year expenditure plan for fiscal years 2021 to 2026. All right, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. You just witnessed how a bill becomes a law. Thank you again to the 24th Navajo Nation Council, the delegates here uh, for their extraordinary work on behalf of our Navajo citizens. 
Thank you so much. First Lady of the Navajo Nation for Billionaires, she sort of in the state of this. So we're going to have uh, our First Lady close us up in prayer, and if she has any other comments, she can do that too as well. Oh, yeah, it's a bit of a shame. Yeah, for billionaires, you know, she had trouble handling it. Let's listen to what she's saying. Now, could I need to send a little bit of You know, I just want to say it's been, uh, you know, this is a recognition of the foresight that our leaders had from 36 years ago to really look into the future and prepare uh, future generations for such, you know, for such times as this. And so we thank you, uh, leaders of the past. And now here we are. Aro kade kodo dan has tanegi ko ike nadani nakana dasa a. And I'm sure they also have, you know, their visionaries as well. They look forward right in into the um, coming decades for us. Aro and, and of course, as a mother, I just want to also say um, happy Mother's Day. This coming weekend's Mother's Day to all the mothers across the whole land. Uh, this coming weekend. So thank you again. Dillard, we thank you again for this beautiful day. And we thank you for all the blessings that you bring upon this land, for your protection, for your guidance, and for all the leaders you keep in place, that you put in place for us over the years to this day and on forward. We pray for all our families and for all our communities to be blessed, not only from this five-year plan, but in all the future plans that you'll have that you'll have our leaders put in place. We thank you again for all the work that they've done. And we just pray, pray for continued blessings. And we pray for good health for all our nation's peoples. Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. Well, have a good day, everybody. Navajo people, God bless you. God bless our great Navajo nation.